Hi everyone, uh, just 2.30 a.m. but I thought I was gonna might as well record this tonight otherwise I'll have <laughs> probably never do it. So today I, I was uh, a bit annoyed with the challenge of um, sorting out audio files. So basically I've created a whole bunch of uh, blaster sounds, blaster sound effects uh, of different characters. So a little small ones, uh, so different characters. <laughs> As you can see, they all have different characters, <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to sort them out into a folder structure and name them appropriately. But it was a bit of a struggle. I was sitting there sorting, dragging and dropping files, thinking, "Is this a long one, a short one, medium? Is it loud, quiet?" Yeah, it just frustrated the hell out of me. <laughs> so in the end, I ended up uh, writing a script for it. So I wanted just to share you what my thought pattern was on that one. So basically I've got uh, in this folder, I have a number of, um, let's have a look. So I've got 568 files and they're all named just random stuff from when I did this sound design process and um, batch processing. And what I wanted to do was to sort them into a folder structure and name them. And uh, basically I created pre-created a structure. So I wanted to sort them into short ones, which were um, sound effects that were less than 200 milliseconds, so 0.2 seconds. Um, and I wanted medium sound blaster or blaster effects that were between 0.2 and 0.6 seconds. And then anything longer than, uh, or 0.8 seconds, sorry, so 800 milliseconds. And anything longer than 800 milliseconds, uh, I wanted to put in the long folder. And then I also realized that some of the sound effects were uh, quiet and some were average and some were loud. And uh, so I wanted a subfolder structure of quiet, average and loud. And these folders are all empty now, as you can see. So instead of uh, going through and dragging and dropping all those files based on listening to every single 500 plus files, I'm probably gonna have about 2000 in the end anyway. <laughs> so that would drive me nuts. But uh, so instead of doing that, um, I use, um, a script program called uh, Sox, which is a sound exchange. Uh, let's have a look what it's called. It's a free program that you can download and it's called, uh, what is it called? Sox, basically. So it's, um, if you just Google Sox, you'll find it. It's a command line pro uh, program. I use it in Windows. It probably works on other platforms as well. And basically, when when you get the stats from a from a file name, <clears throat> it'll output uh, different um, information about that file. <clears throat> and I wasn't too interested in the peak level because uh, I might have a peak at like minus one dB or something that's really really quick, and the rest of the sound might be quiet. So it didn't really interest me to to measure on the peak level. So I decided to scan all the files for the RMS, so the average loudness. Um, level which is this figure here <clears throat> so the average on this file uh, was minus 13.71 db and on another file for example it was minus 32.41 average loudness <clears throat> and then also this SOX uh, program gives me the information of how long the file is so uh, it says here in seconds this one's uh, about half a second long, 500 milliseconds, and this one's about 255 milliseconds. So these were just two that I ran. Basically, if you run the stats, it'll show you like this. And also, as you can see, uh, this one has, uh, this is a stereo file, so it gives a bit of extra input. And this one's got uh, <clears throat> just a uh, mono file. So I, basically what I did is I, I ended up writing a, a DB script or VB script, sorry, it's a Visual Basic script in Windows. Uh, that so it simply just loops through this all the file names in this folder, and it runs that sox stats command on it, and then it captures the in particular the RMS average loudness, and it captures the the length of the of the sound effect in seconds. And uh, if uh, this is a horribly written script, to be honest, it's just uh, <laughs> uh, it's just. Uh, basically forcing in what I needed to do in a horrible way. <laughs> so you could make this 10 billion times nicer, but it does what I need to do for this particular job. So basically it, uh, um, I scan through the file, I extract the RMS uh, value from this part of the string that is output um, 
here. So for mono files, it grabs it at string position 103 for the RMS, which is right uh, here. And then it grabs the uh, length from down here. And based on the RMS uh, and the length of the file name and whether it's a stereo file, which I just searched for the, oh, as you can see, this one has got overall in the file name there. So if I search this string, the output string for overall, I know it's a stereo file. And if it's got not the overall text, then I know it's a mono file. So basically I, I process uh, the output and I parse it and then I loop through all the files uh, and I rename them and I put them into a, a subfolder and then I write it out to a log file. So instead of doing all this manual uh, horrible work that I'd have to redo if I wanted to rename files and so forth. So uh, instead of doing that, I just run this script now. And it's, uh, so this is about 560 plus files then that it goes through. <clears throat> and it'll output it into this folder structure. Uh, it writes a log file as well, so I can see that this sound effect, for example, had uh, an average loudness of uh, minus 17 dB and it was 1.82 seconds long and it renamed it and put it into loud blaster and it renamed it to long loud 789 blah blah blah. So if I go into this one now, you see that in the short quiet there's only one sound effect. In the short average I have some average volumed short blaster sounds and in the loud folder. You can't really tell since they're so short in this one, but if I go into medium length ones and I go into quiet, you can see that these have quite a short attack and the overall loudness of these are quite low. And they're all named nicely into sequence here. And it added the stereo, whether it's a stereo monophile as well. And these are slightly louder, obviously. So average volume, average and loud ones. And then finally, I've got the long sound effects, the quiet ones, only three of those. Some more average ones, probably. And then the long, loud ones. And then these sound effects um, I'm creating. I'm going to release this as a Blounder sound effects library or a sound pack more uh, with a couple of thousand blaster sounds. So I'll be releasing this uh, created a little Unity project project for it as well. So if I do a few of these loud sound effects here, let's just grab some random ones. Let's drag them in here. And let's get some quiet ones as well. And let's get some. Let's have a look. A couple of medium average ones. And some quiet ones. And finally, let's get the short ones here. Short, quiet. That was only one of them. Let's try that one down there. And some average small ones here. There we go. And let's have a look. I'll add this into an array that I've created for this uh, blaster and let's have a play with it. And then I can scroll through the different sounds. <laughs> Yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to say that um, you can save a lot of time sometimes with some scripting and some some uh, processing of the files. So give me a shout if you have any questions and uh, uh, give me a shout also if you need me to or if you want me to uh, 
show anything else that I that I do. So thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.